Welcome to a lesson on multiplying sine fractions. The rule for multiplying fractions is we multiply the numerators and we multiply the denominators. So if we have two fractions in the form a over b and c over d, the product will have a numerator of a times c and a denominator of b times d. So if we have negative three-fifths times two-sevenths, the first thing I prefer to do is to move the negative sign up into the numerator. So I'll write this as negative three over five times two over seven. For me, having the negatives in the numerator makes it easier to keep track of the negative signs. And now the product will have a numerator of negative three times two, that's negative six, and a denominator of five times seven, which is equal to 35. This would be our product. However, it is true we want our product to be in simplest form, so it's recommended that we simplify out all of the common factors between the numerators and denominators before we multiply. So let's take a look at some more examples. Here we have negative four-ninths times five-twelfths. Again, the first thing I would do is rewrite the first fraction as negative four over nine times five-twelfths. And now we should simplify this before we multiply. Notice that four and 12 share a common factor of four. And there's a couple ways of showing how to simplify this. One way is, if we recognize that there's one four and four, we can simplify this to a one. And because there are three fours and 12, we can simplify this to three. Notice there are no other common factors between the numerators and denominators. So now we're gonna multiply. The numerator is negative one times five, that's negative five and the denominator is nine times three, which is equal to 27. This would be our product in simplified form. However, if we find this method of simplifying challenging, another way is to write all of the numerators and denominators in prime factored form. What I mean by that is for negative four ninths, we could write this as negative two times two over three times three. The prime factorization of four is two times two, and the prime factorization of nine is three times three. Five is prime, and then for 12, since 12 is equal to four times three, and four is equal to two times two, we'd have two factors of two and a factor of three. Well, this method is a little bit more work. It's nice because you can actually see the common factors. Two over two would simplify to one, two over two would simplify to one, and now if we multiply, the numerator is negative five, we do have to be careful of the signs, and the denominator would be three times three times three, which is 27, giving us the same product. So both methods of simplifying are valid. This method is a little bit faster, but the prime factorization method is nice because you can actually see all of the common factors. For the next example, the first step would be to write this as negative seven over 12 times negative nine over 28. And again, if we recognize that seven and 28 share a common factor of seven, since there's one seven and seven, this would simplify to one. And since there are four sevens in 28, this simplifies to four. Nine and 12 also share a common factor of three. There are three threes in nine and four threes in 12. And now we can multiply, watching our signs. This would be a negative one times a negative three. That's positive three four times four is equal to 16. For the prime factorization method, we would have negative seven, seven is prime, and then for 12, we saw the prime factorization above as two times two times three times, we'd have negative nine is equal to three times three, and 28 is equal to four times seven, seven's prime, and four is equal to two times two. So we'd have two times two times seven. And now we can see the common factors. Seven over seven simplifies to one, and three over three simplifies to one. So being careful of the signs here, we'd have negative one times negative three, that's three. Remember these were simplifying to ones. And the denominator is two times two times two times two, which is equal to 16. Now we have 5 sixteenths times negative 18 40 fifths. So we have 5 sixteenths times negative 18 over 45. 
and we'll simplify first. Notice five and 45 share a common factor of five. There's one five and five and nine fives and 45. We'll notice how 16 and 18 share a common factor of two. There's nine factors of two and 18 and eight factors of two and 16. But notice in this fraction here, we also have nine over nine, which would simplify to one as well. So again, being careful of the signs here, the numerator would be one times negative one, that's negative one, and eight times one, which is equal to eight. So you can see this method of simplifying can get messy. Let's go ahead and write everything out in prime factored form just to show what that would look like as well. So five is prime, 16 is equal to four times four, but each four is two times two, so we'll have four factors of two times, 18 is two times nine, but nine is three times three. 45 is five times nine, but nine is three times three. Now that everything's in prime factored form, we can simplify and actually see the common factors. Here we have a five over a five, two over two, three over three, three over three. And now again, being careful of the signs, we have a negative one in the numerator, and the denominator is two times two times two, which is equal to eight. Let's take a look at one more. Here we have negative 16 over 42 times negative seven. We need the negative seven to be in fraction form, so we'll go ahead and put this over one. So I'll write this as negative 16 over 42 times negative seven over one. Well, seven and 42 share a common factor of seven. There's one seven and seven and six sevens in 42. But notice how 16 and six also share a common factor of two. There are eight twos in 16 and there are three twos in six. And now we can multiply. Again, being careful of the signs, we have a negative eight times a negative one, that's positive eight. Our denominator is going to be three times one, so our product is eight thirds. And we'll go ahead and show the prime factorization method as well. So we have negative 16, as we saw above, is four factors of two. 42 is equal to six times seven, and six is equal to two times three. So we have two times three times seven. And then we have negative seven over one, seven's prime. So seven over seven simplifies to one, two over two simplifies to one. And so our product would have a numerator of negative two times two times two times negative one, that's positive eight, and three times one is equal to three. So as you can see from these examples, it is important to simplify the fractions before multiplying, but there is more than one way to show the simplifying process. I hope you found this helpful.